Hello, and welcome to this war of mine. I'm Void, and uh, we're going to be playing uh, this war of mine. Final cut. I don't know what this is. I'm going to click on it. Credits. Okay. Um, we're starting a new scenario. I've passed three of these trials already. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, uh, I, I started it up, but realized I should, uh, go back to the menu, so, um, not losing anything. Let's get down to business. For those of you that don't know, this game is about civilians surviving in, uh, wartime. It is dreary, it is bleak. It is not happy. It's it's depressing as hell. People are going to die. I am not good enough at this game to keep everybody alive. And we should get some backstory here. War has been raging on for countless months, and the besieged city has been reduced to a sea of ruins by constant shelling. Going outside during daylight is like inviting snipers to target practice. Everything is in short supply and what little aid reaches the city is seized by the most ruthless and best armed. Few residents were lucky enough to flee. The unlucky ones, like Zlata, Sveta, Anton, and Pavle, who missed the last refugee convoy, are left to fend for themselves. Ordinary people with no survival skills, huddling in ruins, relying on each other to survive. Oof. Let's do this. Okay. You go there. You uh, start clearing that. We're gonna... First things first, we got to um, clear out this house. You can start getting... You... Yeah, I know that it's ported up. Um, so we're gonna try and rush to get to, um, the, sorry, uh, you go up there, you, no, fuck, for fuck's sake, stop going up that way, it's boarded that way, you can go around. Unboard it from this side. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, you can. Do we have a lock? We have a single lockpick so far. Um, we should probably save this for something that can be unlocked uh, with just one lockpick. So let's save it for that one. So you, let's get you working over there. You search this pile. Okay, we're getting some supplies going. That's good. You go over there. We have four electronic components. That's a good start. And uh, you can head down to the workbench, see what we can make right off the bat. We should get some beds going if possible. Okay, uh, let's get our radio started. You get on that next pile of rubble. Clear that shit out. You. Alright. That's good. They're all working. This is good. Time is of the essence here. We need to get this house in order. Uh, we need to get as much done in this first few days as possible. Alright, we've got one jewelry. That'll be useful. I don't know how to escape early. 
I've never done that before. There's a boat that can get you out of here, I think. I've never done it before. That's, I think, going to be my goal. Uh, and I think we need a lot of jewelry for that, so we're going to be robbing some places. Um, the rebel leader instructed us to warn listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. Okay. Despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege off Porgen, P Pogorin, the city remains cut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it would end up uh, it would end up in rebel hands. Okay. And the weather? Upcoming days should still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. All right. Cool. Classical music. You. Uh. You get back down there. You can wait for now. Let's get some beds going. Um. Let's start it over here. You. Can also get going down here. You can unlock this cabinet. You make another bed. Okay, we got a book, some meds, and some scrap. You can go up here, past the rubble. We got a vegetable, that's nice. I don't know if I'm going to go for a vegetable farm. I didn't really need it last run, but could be good to have. Uh, you, okay, uh, we got another lockpick. Another electronic component, some parts and components. Okay. You uh, get upstairs there. You can go there. You go here. Let's make one more bed. You, I will figure out what to do next. We can improve our workshop already, uh, which is good. Oh, Anton is sick. Okay, you can rest. You get up there. Is anyone else? No, did he just come down with that? We're at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so we don't need a heater yet. I'm not sure when winter comes in this scenario. Oh boy. Okay. Nobody's hungry yet. I like to keep my uh, civilians hungry and feed them when they're very hungry. Um, that seems to work for me. They're not starving to death, but they're also, we also have enough food to last a little while. Keeping them well fed is sort of out of the question. Um, you... Okay, you improved the workshop. Let's get a metal workshop made. Metal workshop's very important. You... Uh, can also check out what is going on over here. I need to have everybody busy. All hands need to be on deck at all times. Uh, we need to get rainwater collectors and traps. Traps are going to be the top priority and rainwater collectors after that. Um, but in the meantime is everybody still doing all right? Sick recovering. Okay. Anything else that we can access? All right. Uh, let's see what we can do here. We can make lock picks, crowbars. Just consumes uh, components. Interesting. Shovels. 
knife. And to upgrade this is not too bad. We need components and parts and wood. Um, ideally, I'd like to be able to craft bullets. That's. I didn't go to Sniper Junction at all last game. Uh, will somebody turn off that classic music? I'm, I'm getting tired of it. Cool. Uh, I think we are just about coming to the end of the day. You can check. Make sure that's locked. Yep. Okay. End day. Okay. So now is part two of the game. We're gonna have Anton sleeping in bed. Sveta loves children. Okay. You're gonna guard. You, you get first shift. Zlata bolsters spirits. You're gonna sleep. Yeah, let's have you guard as well, actually. Fuck, fuck being unprepared. Anton's the only one that needs to sleep. Pavle, scavenge. Alright, we've got some options here. Uh, ruined block of flats. This block of flats has seen some heavy fighting. Most people had fled the area before the uh, Viceni rebels clashed there with the military. The battle is over now, and there should be many things left to scavenge because. People were leaving in a rush. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, lots of weapons, and lots of parts. Garage. Before the war, you could have had your car repaired there. It was a decent family business run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade with us. Alternatively, we might find lots of useful parts there and maybe even some food. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, lots of parts, possible trade, caution advised. Decrepit Squad. It's been inhabited by the homeless since long before the war. They've always been struggling with the lack of food and uh, might not have survived the recent shortages. They shouldn't be a threat, and we could find some useful things there. Huge amounts of materials, lots of weapons, lots of parts. Let's check out the block of flats first. I think that's a good uh, first option. We don't need to bring anything with us. We're just trying to maximize uh, carrying capacity. Alright, there shouldn't be any threats in here. Pavle is a fast runner. I don't know if that actually makes him faster or anything. But... Can't hurt. Come on. Search. Search, search, search. Time, time is of the essence. Sometimes these little clues give us... Uh, hints as to where there might be more loot. The baby carriage isn't empty, a few objects lie scattered inside, a rattle, a smiling red crab, well worn by baby teeth, a feeding bottle half full of congealed mass that was probably a baby formula. Someone must have left in a terrible rush, or maybe didn't need them anymore. And sometimes there are anecdotes that hint at death. All the death. It's just, just the best if you couldn't tell. I'm being kind of loud here because I don't think anyone else is actually here. Um, let's ditch the fertilizer. Ditch the roll-up. Um, ditch the coffee. We need lots of scrap and wood. I'd like to gather the weapon part if possible. Let's see what else, if we can stack anything else up in here. It's still 9.50 p.m. Uh, food is also... God, okay, so we're definitely coming back here. We've got electronic components, that's really good. Let's head upstairs, see if we can fit uh, anything else in here. Come on. Come on, Pavle. And it looks like we need a saw for that other area. Okay, so we've got two food here. Why don't we drop that? Um, pick up the food. Uh, we need two saws. 
Which one was it? Was it? Did this one have food? I try and reduce the number of piles uh, each time I visit a place so that there's less searching involved. Um, sounds good. Um, it's unclear to me whether or not um, other looters come to these places. Sometimes it seems like they do, sometimes it seems like they don't. Maybe that's intentional. Uh, I don't care about cigarettes. People can be unhappy. We need wood, I think. That seems like a good, good haul. We can't get through this. Uh, I think I'm ready to leave. Okay. So we need two saws uh, to fully access this location, as far as I know. And we're running at about 15 minutes. Let's get through a few, maybe one or two more days and uh, see how it goes from there. What a night. Glad I have this book. That's good. I'm happy. Okay. Hungry and tired. Hop on that radio. You're hungry and tired. Anything new? Anything new? No. Okay. No, no new news. Uh, you... You check this out. You go there. We need more parts. Okay, but we can get a rainwater collector going. That's fine to get. I like to have those up high for no particular reason. I think it makes sense logically, but I don't think it it actually matters in, in the game. Um, can't upgrade that. And we used our parts for the water collector, so we can't make more lockpicks. Um, can't make any knives. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. We can make an armchair. It's good for keeping people happy. Uh, we need a crude stove first, though. That can go in the kitchen. You can come back here and see if we can still make that armchair. No. Zero out of zero for both. Uh, Alright, so you can go down and rest. Uh, on second thought, why don't you... Can we... Do we have... Wait. No, we don't have the components for water anyway. So go run back to bed. And we need shit to improve the stove. Uh, we need, we're, we're not burning books. That's wasteful. You guys are just going to go hungry. Um, okay, so you can go run to that bed. You, Anton, is still recovering from sickness. Can we make another bed? Uh, no, Anton, get, get back in bed. Get back in bed. We can't. Okay. So Pavle is probably going to have to take a bit of a breather tonight. We'll have someone else. <clears throat> we'll have someone else uh, do the scavenging. Okay, I'd like to wait a few hours before ending the day, just in case we get a visitor. Um, and who knows, these people might recover early. 
which point I can swap them out. I'd like to get a fourth bed in here for the circumstance like this. Um, yeah. Welcome to this war of mine. No one is safe. It's 12.10. I like to wait until 1 p.m. Uh, any visitors after 1 can fuck right off. Um, we've already looted the treehouse. Yeah. Not much to do. It's 1 p.m. End of the day. Alright, we've got two new places, Military Outpost and Sniper Junction. Um, rather than going back to the Ruined Block of Flats, since I don't have that, those saws, I'm going to go to the Decrepit Squat, see if I can unlock some more places by going to new places. Um, so let's see, Pavle, you can sleep, Anton, you can sleep, Zlata, you got a guard. And Sveta, you got a you got a guard as well. Oh no, uh, Sveta guard and Zlata scavenge because Zlata is stronger, can uh, has higher carrying capacity. All right, decrepit squat. Let's go. I learned the value of electronic components for higher tier crafting. And security systems. Um, so, eager to collect as many of those as I can. I don't like that there's hiding places. Uh, I'm not sure it matters to collect sugar at this point since we don't have a distillery water would be nice to have this location. I don't think I've been here before. Lots of components and stuff to take. Uh, anything in the bathroom? No. Got another saw that we're gonna need. Okay. We can get some lockpicks going using some of these uh, parts for a trap, which would be nice. says, Dearest Masha, I found shelter among the homeless. I am no longer a teacher or an artist. I am one of them now. There is not much food, so some of my friends already left us, but do not be worried. I too will seek more appropriate refuge as soon as I have finished my painting. Oh. He's probably dead. Unless that's him. Sorry for unbarring your uh, your door there. It's just 
Good evening. Hello. Yeah, yeah, uh, I have no food. I have, I have no food. Yes, maybe next time. Yes, I could help you. I don't know if there is a reward. Alright, a few days without food and he's dead. So we'll have to bring something for him. Like tomorrow night. Oh boy. Okay, so this is the kind of moral decisions that you have to make in this game. Uh, do you help this person knowing that you are putting your own people at risk by doing so on the off chance that you get rewarded for doing so? Um, he could be another member of our group or something like that. Um, Pavle was wounded and the attackers didn't steal anything. We should put more people on guard. We need weapons for them as well. Um, yep. Okay. <laughs> Nerve-wracking start, but I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, we've, st we've just ended day two and uh, started day three. Um, we've made a homeless guy who may have... A painting to give us that we could sell or something and um, we're currently collecting uh, all the scraps and parts and components that we can get so that we can make stuff to survive we're still in the basic stages this game can go for upwards of 50 days um, so This is just the beginning, uh, which is why it's so important and it's so, so fucking stressful. <laughs> I'm going to take a break, probably come back to this, record another episode. Um, but for now, this is where I leave you. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all the things, uh, and I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye.